Hi, Heather. How are you, Heather? Hi, Strength. Thank you. This is a little, this is kind of a, I guess, kind of a random time for me to do a live. Hi, Jocelyn. How are you? Hi, Kristen. Hi, lovely. Hi, Brenda. Oh, thank you. It's like the lighting is not that great, I know. I don't like the lighting in my house, so I'd rather have the lights off with the Christmas lights on. Aw, thanks, lovely. I had a little bit of time to jump on before I eat dinner, so it's like, let me jump on here for a little. I'm kind of just going to jump on when I have time in between, so I don't know how long I can be on the lives. I think... Like, my morning lives are good. I can usually stay on there a little long. Um, but throughout the day, it's like with, like, the kids and stuff, I never know, like, if someone needs me for something. So I'm kind of going to wing it. Like, whenever I have a little bit of time, I'll jump on the lives in between my day. It's the one in too well, you know? Lives. I do not get good connection in this spot in my house, but yet it's the it's the comfiest spot in my house. So if it keeps on going red, then I'll move. Oh, thanks, Jocelyn. I really need to dye it. It's getting kind of dark, but that means I gotta, I actually gotta do it. <laughs> yeah, it keeps on, it keeps on going red on me. Forcing me to get out of my comfy spot. Hey, Dave. Ricky. The lighting's a little better because it's my because of my computer. <sighs> that's a, that's an original one, Charlie. <laughs> never heard that one before. Hi, Faith. Uh, Ricky, I'm just waiting for all my friends to come on live. <laughs> Hi, Linda. I told you guys that's what I'm going to do from now. I'm just going to jump on when I can. Just to say hi and answer any questions. Hey, Tony. How are you, Tony? Kylie, where's Kendall? Hey, Bridget. 
damage it. I just, <clears throat> well, you guys seen, I just made a video. I had to go get my refresher and my soda for the day. It's actually, you know, it's funny. I don't even really drink them much now. It's more so in the morning when I'm like answering videos and stuff like that. Oh, that's good, Tony. My favorite cheesesteak. My favorite cheesesteak is a cheesesteak with extra American cheese on it and um, pickles. And that's it. I can do without the onions, but they're, I don't mind the onions, like if they're on it, fried onions, but I can do without the onions and just do uh, extra American cheese with pickles. That's my favorite. I like the, the raw toasted too. Right, Linda? It's so close. Oh, yeah, guys, I put my live up. I, now, I, I figured it out. It was obviously super easy. Like I said, whenever I'm not, like, whenever I'm relaxed, it takes, like, one second. So now I can upload my lives. So I have a few that I, um, how do you get out of depression? So, Danielle, first, first it's knowing and understanding that, you know, we know now more. We know more, right? We know we're here to live an amazing life, right? It's also your wording, like don't put labels on those moments you don't feel good. Honestly, Danielle, it's it's knowing and understanding like you're moving towards best and better now, right? So now you're gonna work with those lower energies. They're just lower energies, Danielle. Don't label it as depression, right? Take away those labels from those moments. They're literally just lower energy moments that you're using to your advantage now, right? So when you don't feel good, right, in those lower energies, it's not depression. It's time for you to relax and get calm and kind of just like sit with that lower energy to let, your, let you know in those moments it's not going to hurt you and it can't hurt you. What you're doing in those moments when you're just kind of relaxing into lower energies, guys, you're, the best word I can use that I resonate with and maybe some of you will resonate with is transmuting. You're transmuting all these moments into positive moments. So all these lower energies are getting transmuted into positive, right? You're going to start seeing it in your reality, but you have to really relax in those moments. You have to get do your best to get out of your mind in those moments and relax your body. Even if you're thinking of something and you are in your mind a little bit, as long as you're relaxing your body and softening your body in those moments, that's enough in the beginning. That's enough, right? So people always say, what about intrusive thoughts? What about this? What about, it doesn't matter. Because you know more now. You know you're moving towards best and better now, right? So the best way I can explain it is that you're transmuting these unfavorable stories, these circumstances, right? You're transmuting them into positive. So the more you can relax in those moments and not run from those moments and just relax your body in those moments, you know, move slower through those moments, you'll start seeing the results in your reality. You'll start seeing the positive results in your reality. Unfavorable labels and stories or cycle suffering are focus feeded and yes, faith, yes. It all comes back to focus, right? It all comes down to um, you know, what you focus on grows. So we're transmuting this energy into more positive. Like what you send out, you get back, right? It's like it's a boomerang, pretty much. So what the more you transmute this energy, you're gonna start getting back more positive. So you it's just you're gonna move to the other side of it. That's why I say it's a gradual process. It's a natural, gradual process. You're going to get to the other side of where you're, you're experiencing more positive. So eventually you're experiencing all positive. You really are. So in those moments, don't run from them, right? Embarrassment, I feel stupid, worrying, all those complaining, venting. We're not going to do that anymore. We're going to rest into that in those moments. We're going to relax into the, those moments. And we're going to transmute that into something positive, right? By just getting calm, by getting quiet, calm, and relaxing your body. But it really does start with just relaxing your body. It starts with meditation. It starts with those moments relaxing your body and softening your body. Why? Because in the, in the beginning, we have a lot of unfavorable stuff going on, right? We have a lot of programs that we picked up over time. Um, so we have some fear-based belief systems going on in the beginning. So in the beginning, it really is just a lot of relaxing your body, right? You're always making progress with even just relaxing your body, but you're not seeing the results right away. You're still too focused on the unwanted in the beginning, guys. That's why I say it's a practice that takes practice. 
You gotta stick with it though. You really gotta stick with it. It's the easiest practice out there though because you now know that everything you want's done. Your manifestations are done in the best way possible, not just done in the best way possible, right? They're making their way to you. Don't worry about your manifestations. Don't do anything to manifest. Stay away from that. They're, they're done. They're making their way to you. There's nothing you need to do. You just got to work with the, the experiences you're having now. You got to work with the reality you're having now. You got to work with the life you're living now. Why? Because you can't run from anything. So these manifestations, they're not going to like, they're not the end all be all. They're not going to fix your problems, right? So the more you just relax in these moments that you don't feel good, you're going to start to see the results in your life. The byproduct is going to be your manifestations in the best way possible, right? So it's really just in this moment, making the best of it, doing what you can do to feel good in these moments, do the relaxing practices, those types of things. When I don't feel good, this is a good thing. This is serving me. It's not here to hurt me. Nothing can hurt me. Nothing can hurt me. I'm just going to relax my body in those moments, get calm in those moments, and hold space for that energy, that lower energy, by not labeling it, by not, you know, telling a story in those moments. I'm just going to relax and calm and allow it to pass so it can transmute into something positive for me. Um, yes, I have, Claire. I have. Uh, so it's mostly because like, so Claire says, like, have you ever experienced low vibe people leave your life? And I didn't really label them as low vibe though. I just always said like, I kind of looked at it as like, you know, I started seeing people differently as well and not, I see, I started seeing the best in them, right? It doesn't mean that some people may stay in your life and some people may leave your life, but that's not really, that's not my concern. I'm just moving towards what's best for me. So I, I don't want to say they're, they were low vibe because they just didn't match me anymore, right? So I make it more of like, I don't really like to say like they're low vibe or high vibe or they're this or they're that because I feel like it feels judgmental to me personally. That's just me. It feels judgmental like because I've had great relationships with people like that maybe aren't exactly like me or don't match me at all times, right? So it's kind of about how you're perceiving it in that moment. But yes, things do fade out of your life. But like I said, that's not my concern. I'm just moving towards what's best for me, what feels good to me, what's serving me, right? How can I drastically improve my income? I have been feeling good as much as possible. So, so that's great. So just know you're moving towards that. That needs to be enough. Feeling good needs to be the goal though. So that's great. You're feeling good. Know you're moving towards that. But if you're, if you're still like, if you're still saying, but my income's not good, that's where your focus is. You're a focus. You have to be honest with yourself, Erie. My practices are just, you have to be honest with yourself. Are you focused more on the lack of money right now? You have to be honest with yourself. Feeling good, yes, you feeling good should be enough. And you should know that that's going to be the byproduct. That needs to be enough, right? You're just feeling good as you're just doing my practices. If anything ever comes up that doesn't feel good in those moments, just relax into it. Allow it to pass. Know, you're, know that better's coming from it. But the fact that you're feeling good should be enough because you know how these practices work. You know you're moving towards best and better in all areas of life. So you don't need to ask this question because feeling, feeling good is the end goal. Feeling good is the end goal. Everything else will come from that. Are you truly feeling good all the time? Are you still having moments where you're maybe in your head too much or you're worrying about money? That's okay. You're, you're just focused on the other end of it still. Keep doing the practices. Keep doing the practices, right? Hey, Christine. Hey, Kay. I know, Kay. Well, this is what I said, guys. This is what I said. I'm going to jump on here whenever I can. They may not be like a whole hour. They may sometimes be an hour. I don't know because of my kids and like dinner and, you know, hanging out with them, taking them driving and doing stuff like that. So like, I kind of don't know, like I'm just going to, in the mornings I can usually stay on pretty long. Um, but from the day, I'm just going to jump on when I can. Cause I would rather be doing a live with you guys for 25 minutes than scrolling through TikTok, Right. So for me, like this is where I'm going to put my foot, put my focus when I have time. <laughs> and I love hanging out with you guys. Yeah, I'm, I definitely, yeah, that's okay. That's okay, Erie. But see, that's the thing. Just be honest with yourself. That's all. And just keep doing the practices, right? So 
So the fact that you're feeling good is awesome. Focus on those things that are working out for you more so. Like try to favor those moments. But remember, that's all you're ever doing, Erie. You're focused. You're chasing the feeling of feeling good in each moment. That's, it's not even that. Like when I really think about it, it's more so of that's the byproduct of doing my practices is that you do, do truly start to feel good, guys. You do start to like just be more positive most of the time right and in those moments you don't feel good or you start to get nervous or you have anxiety you know what to do because you know what it's doing you know what to do because you know what it's doing it's transmuting into positive so when you start to have anxiety when you start to panic when you start to be in your head too much you're like ah, 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 nope i'm gonna relax i'm gonna get calm because i know this is serving me when i transmute it into something positive I don't have to worry. I don't have nothing to fear. Let me calm myself down. Let me relax my body and just allow it to pass. Just allowing it to pass is you transmuting it into something positive, right? Right? So it's just like, I don't even like to say you're chasing, I say you're chasing the feeling of feeling good. Yes, that. but that's the byproduct. That's the byproduct. You start to do things that are more in alignment with you. It's easier for me to choose to do a live than it is to scroll through TikTok. Why? Because I know that scrolling through TikTok really doesn't serve me. So I'm either going to sit in silence or I'm gonna jump on a live with you guys, which they will both serve me to a degree, right? So really that's 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 all these practices are. That's all it is. Hi, cool Aaron. I love that, Linda. Yeah, that's kind of the stuff that I go, that I do. An opportunity came up when I asked and Nell even thought, I know I can, ah, uh, right? That's so important. It's so important what um, I, uh, what's I don't know your actual Athema Athema is that right am I saying that right you you can't make a mistake guys you just get better at this you get deeper understanding of how it works and how actually simple it is but it, I say deeper understanding but yeah by going within you do but if actually how simple this actually is right you can never make a mistake you literally just get better at it that that's all that's happening i promise you just keep on doing it and let me tell you these things these it starts to shift really quickly things start to happen really quickly when you understand what you're doing in those lower energies when you're understanding that you're just relaxing in those moments because you're transmuting in, into something positive into something good when you really can get that's what you're doing and that's why you're just relaxing and you're you're not embarrassed anymore you you don't care if you made a little mistake you you don't care if you know you don't you're not going to waste your time on worrying about something you're not going to let those moments get you anymore because you know they you you know how this works now you've been doing it for long enough you know the results of just relaxing in those moments and allowing those moments to pass right so like i said it's just practice it's just practice that's it how do i live in the end so i don't live in the end that's not how i teach manifesting there's no living in the end so your, your, your comment speaks for itself. How do I live in the end when missing college while manifesting health condition away, right? So first of all, you're, you're, what are you living in the end of? There is no living in the end. You're actually living in the now knowing what's coming towards you. That's it. So your end is knowing. Your end is now because you can only be in the now. Your end is just knowing what you're moving towards. You're moving towards best and better. You're moving towards your, your most healthiest self, right? That's it. But you're only, you're, there only is now. You can't get away from now. You'll never be able to get away from now. You'll never get to be able to get away from yourself. So it's all about in those moments, just relaxing when you don't feel good, right? Quiet is important too, but don't start to label. I'm not healthy. I'm sick. Why is it? You have to say, I'm moving towards better. That's got to be your new story. I'm moving towards better. I'm moving towards healthy. Um, my, my cells are rejuvenating in each second, each moment. Renew fresh cells in each moment. So you got to shift that story a little bit. Oh, you leaving? Yeah. I'll oh, see you. Em. How do you manifest? Well, Rick, you're always manifesting. You can't stop. You can't stop <laughs> manifesting. Just know that. Oh, that's a shame. She didn't eat. Okay. Are you going to eat now? Okay. Because I couldn't, I would have moved. You're always manifesting, Ricky. Now you're just aware of it. Now you know you can be doing anything you want. That's the difference. Now you know you're moving towards that. Now that you know that. That's it. You're moving towards whatever you want in the best way possible. You've always been manifesting. That's how you're having your experience now. You manifested it. 
but you 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 manifest it based off your belief systems. You ba you manifest it off of your programming, off of your past belief systems that you picked up from your from growing up, from your environment. That's all. Now you know you're unlimited. Now you know you get to be doing have anything you want. Now you know you're here to live an amazing life. Now you know you're moving towards that. Now in this moment. How can I make things better? Just they're getting better right now, right? You see, here's the thing, right? They're getting better in this moment, right? Like, like I said, you can't get away from where you're at. You can't get away from this moment. So the fact that you're saying, how can I make things better? You're not, you're not in this moment working, doing the practices. So again, right, it comes back to don't say that. In those moments, just get quiet. Calm, relax your body. That's not how I speak anymore because I know I'm moving towards best and better, right? I know what I'm moving towards. In those moments, I'm going to get quiet. I'm going to get calm. And I'm going to transmute that in this moment. I'm going to give it as much time it needs to transmute. And you'll start, you got, it takes, guys, this is a practice that takes practice. You're still focused on the unwanted in the beginning. Even as your life gets better, you're still focused on the unwanted. You got to keep doing these practices so you can get over the hill. So you can be focused more on the want it. You can start really looking back and say, oh, wow, I can see how all the puzzle pieces came together. It was always working out for me all along. It was always happening for me all along, right? Hi, Patrick. It, yes, Christine said it all, guys. You, you cannot be focusing on a manifestation. You can't where, because you're giving your energy away. You're giving your power away. You're, guys, if you're doing anything to manifest, you're giving your power away. It's another trap. Everything you want's done, it's making its way to you. You, you got to focus on your, you got like I always say, you got to dedicate yourself to yourself, guys. You got to release these programs. You got to release these limiting beliefs. That's your only practice. Those manifestations will be the byproduct in the best way possible. Seriously, I'm telling you, it's all about these lower energies. It's all about relaxing into them and learning that and knowing that they're not going to hurt you. They're, they actually will serve you if you just work with them in the right way. And that means really doing the practice of quiet, calm, relaxing your body. Do the relaxing practices as well. Hi, Dream. Ah, uh, it's so nice seeing everyone. Exactly, exactly what Bridget said. They they bring you back to this present moment, right? They get you out of your head space. We're all in our minds too much. We're overthinking too much. I do it too. I, I talked about this this morning. I still get in my head space sometimes. I, I use it to my lives as an example. I overthink it. And then guess what? I miss an opportunity where I could have been sitting here like doing a live, which I obviously I love doing, right? And instead I wasted it and I like kind of did nothing. And I'm like, or I got on and I was on yesterday for 19 minutes because I procrastinated in my mind. I was too much in my head space. I was overthinking something, right? If you feel inspired to do something and you actually feel inspired, do it. Just do it. You'll, you'll show yourself that it's all working. It, it, it's just going to keep moving you towards more and better. Now, this is in regards to yourself, not your manifestations, okay? In regards to you. Today, I said, oh, I want to go take a ride to get my drinks, so I got up and I went, but I didn't feel like doing it in that moment, but I knew I was going to be moving towards it. So eventually I was like, oh, let me go now. I want to go get my drinks now. Um, meditation. Ricky, check out my playlists. I have a playlist on here. It's called Meditation and Breath Work. Check out those videos on there. And it explains meditation. It explains the best way to go about it. Um, it'll also direct you to, and I'll direct you to, um, I have easy, fun meditations. Meditation it's just you taking time for yourself, Ricky and guys, and just sitting there in that in that silence, hanging out with your with you and your own energy in those moments, right? And my practice is pretty simple, Ricky. You just want to find a sound you like and redirect your focus to that sound. So like an air conditioned sound, a fan sound, a cool sound beat that you like, and just I just keep redirecting my focus to that sound, right? I don't even need it anymore. That's like I'm past that. Because I've done it for so long. But that is, to me, that was the most powerful, best practice. Is when I would listen to a sound, I would just keep redirecting my focus to that sound. Five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you feel like doing. There's no rules. But I will say this. Relax your body before you do it. Relax your body before you meditate. Relax your face. Drop your shoulders. Do that breath. Relax. Do that breath. Maybe do it again a couple times. Get really light. Relax your body as much as you can in those moments, right? And then meditate. Your meditation 
experience will be enhanced by so much if you if you do the relaxing practices first. I didn't learn that till later, guys. I didn't learn that till later to just like soften my body, relax my body, and then meditate, then quiet my mind. I honestly, I think it was Christine who said that. I, I actually remember her saying she relaxes and then meditates. I wasn't really doing that. I was just, all right, let me just meditate. I found the first vid that I saved here from you was in March? Really? No way. It's so, you know, it's funny, Dream, and guys, like, seeing my videos from a year ago and how much they evolved over time, right? And now I'm starting to get into more of, like, really focusing on these lower energies, right? Really talking about, like, these lower energies. And I guess you could kind of say a year is... How, when my when I was really getting it that you really got to relax into these lower energies and that's when I started learning different ways to help you guys so people always say how long did it take for me well you got to understand I was learning as I was going as well right and then I was sharing it I was sharing what worked for me oh yes and you know what you have dream and I love it I love watching you guys so I follow a lot of you guys I follow Ava Ava, I'm watching her grow and her content grow, guys. I mean, I'm telling you, she started with, like, nothing, and I'm watching her grow. And it's so cool to see you, see you guys who are on TikTok watching your content grow, just like how mine did, right? And it's, like, it's very just authentic to who you are. And, and I don't know, it's just cool to see it. Same with Dream. Um, same with um, both Dreams, because there's two Dreams. So, yeah, and like, yeah, so relaxing, Ricky, but I also say like doing relaxing practices are just as powerful, maybe even more so, guys, than meditation. So like when you're in a warm blanket, that's a form of meditation, right? When you're relaxing in the bathtub, that's a form of meditation, guys. Like to me, that is just as powerful as meditating. So add it, add it to the list. Is thinking about someone a lot giving your energy away? Um, Thalia, so yes, if you're like always thinking about someone all the time, it's consuming your life. Yes, obviously you're, you're just giving too much of your energy away, but also think about it like this. If you're thinking light about somebody, no. If you're just in a good energy about it, no. It's when you're in opposition of things, like when you're thinking, when you're in lack, when you're thinking of it. It's when you're thinking, I need this thing or I need this manifestation in order to feel better that's it you know the difference more the more you do these practices right but if you're thinking about a manifestation all day yeah you kind of want to bring that back to you you do but you're going to know you're going to know whether you're in flow in these moments or whether you're 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 fighting against these moments so that's what it's all about it's learning what it is to be in flow versus not being in flow Last year I watched you a lot when I was struggling with employment. I now have a job. That Oh, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Like, seriously, what Water said here is now she's been watching for a year. Now she has a job that she loves. And that's really what it comes down to is learning how to love where you're at. Learning. I was always running away from where I was at, literally. I mean, like I said, I feel like I had no mistakes and all of that, but... You have to, you have to, and I, but I always did love where I was at. I can't say that I didn't love it and I made the best of it, but that's what moves you to, towards more and better. And that's what will continue to continue moving you towards more and better is when you just learn how to appreciate where you're at. And that takes practice. It takes practice because when we first know this information, we really are trying to get things to fill a void. We're like, oh, if I just get this thing, I'll feel better. If I just get this job, I'll feel better. If I just get this money, I'll feel better. If I just get this relationship, I'll feel better. You won't. You just won't, right? But we know that now. Hey, Shanna. I probably call you Shana and Shanna. I, I, I probably say both names. Hi, Pixie. Exactly. It really does come down to that. No, you can't go, you don't have to think about your manifestations. That's like really the message I'm trying, trying to get across to you guys is you don't have to. They're making their way to you in the best way possible. You don't need to think about them ever. Like if they pop in your mind, that's fine guys. But like, you don't have to like, oh, I got to think about it. I got to bring it in. I got to do these things to get it. That they're, they're other ways of teaching. They're not my ways. You don't have to do that. Trust me. Trust me. You don't have to do that. <coughs> so just remember that. 
Just remember, I don't got to do anything to bring in my manifestations. They're coming to me in the best way possible. I'm just doing, I'm living my life now. I can tell you where your power is. I say this a lot and I really mean this. It's with the life you're living now. It's with the family that are in your life now. It's with your pets that are in your life now. It's with the home you're living now. That's where your power is. They're the things that are going to move you towards best and better, right? I know. I love hearing you guys say things in different ways. I even, like, see it, like, I'm here it a different way and perceive it a different way. Because um, uh, Faith just said, emotions are a magnet. Focus on dominantly feeling good. Like, you just... It, it makes sense. Like, he, even me hearing it different ways from you guys. Yes, we do not work hard here. We are not working here. There's no working here. I'm telling you right now, because as soon as something becomes a job, you're, you're going to get annoyed by it. And you're going to be like, it, it, there's got to be an easier way, right? As soon as we're, we're making something a job or something I have to do every day, or how often do I have to focus on, do my... You don't have to. It's making its way to you. Everything's making its way to you in the best way possible. We're, this is self-empowerment at its best, right? It's just you dedicating you to you. That's it. That's all it is. Yes. Yes. But, but you're like, I know where you're at, Jade, and in the it's very normal to be where you're at, but you are, you're in that stage of not trusting, which that's normal. Most people are, but Jade, the more you do these practices, the more you focus on feeling good. Now, the more you stop running away from these moments, instead of asking questions, which I get it, we all ask questions, but instead of asking questions like, but will it, will it, will it manifest? Will it manifest if I just do this? And I get it. I get it. Instead, don't ask the questions, guys, get quiet, get calm, relax your body and just there's many things I can do to feel good. I know I'm moving towards best and better, right? But this is just you not trusting in the process. You not trusting that that reality exists and it's happening right now. It's it's literally exists and it's happening right now. It's making its way to you right now, right? There, but there only is right now. So now you're making the best of now, and and that's that's what it comes down to. So. I, I know it's like, it's scary. It's like, but what? And you think this thing's going to make you feel better. And that's just the energy you're in at first. A lot of us are in it at first, right? It's like, I need these things to feel better. Does this work? What if this doesn't work? What if I never get the money? What if I get, never get the relationship? What if I'm lonely forever? And no, no, that will, none of that will happen. And the more you feel good without it, you'll start to see it for yourself. You'll start to show yourself like, oh my gosh, I am so abundant in so many ways. I'm doing things that I love. I'm in alignment with my passions. It keeps on getting better. My life keeps on getting better. Now I know what it means to be in flow versus not being in flow. And you'll just be self-empowered. Self-empowerment, right? And then it'll start bringing those things in. Hi, Kira. You've helped me so much from escaping. Oh, I love That's my favorite. Anastasia that I, I that was always my favorite message when people would say like oh my gosh I'm so glad I'm out of that I'm so glad I'm out of that because that is tell me how like does that it feels like another prison if it, I always used to explain that where I, when I was unhappy like I felt like I was in prison I felt like I was stuck in my life and that's what it felt like you just feel like you were just imprisoned by these manifestations right like am I doing it right do I got to do this more do I got to do that more and granted it works I've done it I've done it but it just, it was a temporary fix. It was a temporary fix. So it all comes down to knowing how to work with those lower energies and you'll get better at it. And you'll realize that they're nothing to be afraid of. They're, they're very empowering, those lower energies. You're transmuting them into positive and your life starts to get better because your life get, gets more positive. And it's, it's just, you're going to feel free. You're going to feel, feel that sense of freedom. I feel you there, Linda. I did too. That's where I was at. I felt like I, like I was going to lose. I was at the verge of losing everything as well. So I totally get that, Linda, and I totally relate to that. And I think that's why a lot of people resonate with me. Why? Because we, like, I couldn't flip a thought. I couldn't flip a thought. I couldn't even, and I love Abraham and I swear by Abraham, but I couldn't just think a better thought. Not where I was at. That, that wasn't going to work for me. I had to figure out another way. And it was, it all came down to quiet, calm, and relax for me. So flipping a thought wasn't going to work. 
thinking of a better thought was not gonna work for me. Not I was way too much on the other side of things to do any of that. So I was asking questions, I was meditating, I was like, there's gotta be a better way, there's gotta be an easier way. This this is not thinking a better thought. I can't think of a better thought. So for me, it was all about relaxing in those moments, knowing that those moments are not gonna hurt me, they can't hurt me, and getting out of my headspace. I was way too much in my headspace, way too much in my headspace. Exactly, exactly, and I'm glad you guys found me, honestly. I get so many people coming back to me saying like, you freed me from that. Yeah, yeah, faith, right, venting. And we don't even realize it. We don't even realize it because we're so programmed to vent, to complain, to like, you know, why isn't this working and to go back. But in the beginning, you are going to be in old patterns for a little bit. You are. You're going to say, you're going to be like, like, is this not working? I did it. I'll, I'll admit it. But you just know better. You catch it quicker. You catch it quicker, quicker, quicker to where you don't do it anymore. And guess what? Now you're more in alignment with things that you love to do. Like, I can't even tell you guys, my day is so fulfilled now. It's with everything that I love to do. I got up early for the first time today. For the first time today, I used to always be an early riser. I mean, early was 7 a.m. I used to be 5 a.m. when I worked, but now I'm like, I want to get up earlier because I have so many things I want to do now. So like, I have to get my days, like or I need to get more in. So now I'm at that point where I'm doing things that I love to do all the time and I just can't fit the time in. So I'm like, all right, girl, you're getting up at 7 a.m. and we're going to get all your morning routine in, do your lives, do your stuff, and then whatever happens in between happens in between. So that's what starts to happen. Now, it's, it, you will, you'll, it'll be things that are in alignment with you. See, thing, people are going to fade from your life. Yes, things are going to fade from your life and you're going to have different relationships with people that are in your life, right? So the relationships with the people in your life are going to change. They're going to be good and people may fade from your life. But like I said, that's, that's not your job, guys. Don't, don't get wrapped up around that because that's even you too much in your mind trying to figure things out. And not focusing on yourself and putting yourself first and being the best you so you can be an example to others. Because that's that's what it comes down to. Those things will work themselves out and you won't worry about it because you'll be happy. You'll be happy. I know, Vols. I've always been an early bird. So I love waking up when it's still dark. I love waking up when it's still dark. So it's like, I love it. It's just me. And, and it's like, I can do my thing. I think because of being a mom, I always pick that up too. Like getting up before my babies would wake up and like being able to have my tea and clean. And then like, I was so happy when they would wake up because I was ready, right? So it's so like, for me, that serves me to get up. But I, but I did it for a while. So don't think that, oh, well, she's got her stuff together. Guys, I did it for a while. I did it. I was sleeping in. I was working through these lower energies. I had no routine going. I was all over the place. I was like, all right, I'll do this today. I'll do that today. I'll do this. Girl, guys, so let me tell you, it took me practice to get back to who I used to be because that was always who I used to be. I used to be the girl that got up early, who did a routine, who did this, who did that. But I had some stuff I had to work through. I had those lower energies. So don't compare yourself to anybody. Never, not even to me because you know what? It took me I'm just now getting to that place, okay? Just now getting to that place where I'm up and I'm right starting my day because I'm doing things that I love and, you know, my, my days are filled and they're positive and they're good. So it took me, took me practice to get there. So it's so important not, that's why stay off that social media because do not compare yourself to anyone. You never know what people are really living. You can't, you're getting glimpses into people's lives. You're not really knowing the gist of it all. You're not knowing what's on a deeper level, what's really going on in people's lives. Never, ever, ever, ever compare yourself. Can you please tell us more of being quiet, calm, and relaxed? Yes, guys, I'm going to answer this question and then I'm going to, I am going to jump off um, in a minute. So um, Ed says, can you please tell us more on being quiet, calmed, and relaxed? So that's everything. Ed, that's everything. So basically, when you know what we know now, we know that we're here to live an amazing life. We know that anything we want is done in the best way possible. We know that our best life exists right now. It exists right now in every aspect and area of your life. Whether that's specific or not, it's done. It, and, and it's making its way to you, right? 
now this is your practice. Your practice is making the best of where you're at now because there only is now. So you're making the best of where you're at now, feeling the best you can with where you're at. When you don't feel good, this is where quiet, calm, and relax is going to come in. When you don't feel good, quiet, you want to get quiet, whether there's a story, experience, circumstance, or I just don't feel good. I don't know why. You're going to get quiet. You're going to do the relaxing practice where you relax your face, you drop your shoulders, and you just breathe out. Just release all that energy, right? Soften your body as much as you can because I always say limiting beliefs are dense. They're hard. So you're going to do the opposite. You're going to soften in those moments. Think about it like this. If there's a story there, if there's even a circumstance, and I'm soft, my body's soft, I'm in full power. It's working in my favor. It's the only thing you have to do. You'll just get better at it. You'll get better at catching those moments. They really won't happen as much. And if they do, you know exactly what to do. You're just a, you get to become a pro at it. So yeah, so that's the practice, right? It's really learning how to work with resistance. It's learning how, learning how to work with it and knowing that it's serving you and it's, it's all there for your highest good. And, and then I said, like it's, you're transmuting that energy into positive. So you're gonna start to see the results in your life of more positive because you stay calm, quiet. I used to say the word kind, but there's some resistance in that at first for people, but eventually you're gonna get the kindness part of it. it it'll click as time goes by, but that's it. That's all you're ever doing. So that's the practice, guys. All right, so I'm gonna jump off, guys. Ooh, all right. And this is what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna just fly on here whenever I can. You'll probably be seeing more of me at different times. That might be 25 minutes, it might be 20 minutes, but I'm just gonna use the time wisely that I'm not, instead of scrolling through TikTok, I'm gonna come hang out with you guys. So, all right, guys. Everybody have a good rest of the day. I will see you guys tomorrow at some point. Have a good night. And, and remember, I'm going to be uploading these on YouTube now because I, I got it all. I got it all worked out on my computer. So enjoy the rest of your Sunday, guys. I'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. My awkward end. <laughs>